did you, you were at a point now, you just came off this tour, which I've held up several times. Yes, you you, did, you, we pimped it enough. <laughs> we pimped it enough. Uh, auto, auto, uh, uh, one hour photo. One hour photo. Auto focus is no, 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 not a movie. <laughs> I didn't do that, I swear there's no tape. <laughs> Hey, how are you doing? Hey. Uh, I see nothing. <laughs> Look at the tapes. Yeah, no, one hour no, photo. I didn't make those tapes. No. It was Ooh. not me. Yeah, yeah, and they're back on. One hour photo, mm -hmm. insomnia. Right. Uh, this, which is very different. Yeah. You know, all the things that, that you were honored for, you think the, the characters like uh, Goodwill Hunting, what was it? Yeah, Goodwill Hunting was yeah. uh, won the Academy Award for that. Is there any place that you want to be? I think where I am right now. It's a good place. That's exactly right. Yeah. Talk to me about that just a little bit. I will. I'll, 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 I will share with you. I'll share with Fair you. Enough. Testify, brother. Yeah, please. There's that feeling of being, you know, doing like the stand-up combined with one-hour photo insomnia, you know, kind of pushing the envelope in terms of what people perceive I can do, mm -hmm. especially in playing a character, you know, these darker, you know, troubled and in many cases, you know, nasty, vicious. And that helps to just, you know, push it through because it, you're looking at now when once you it's at this age to say you're playing characters now, which is what I always do, was doing before. But now it's a given. Yeah, you're heading towards Gabby time. <laughs> oh God! Don't you see? Yeah. They, they haven't found any weapons. Gonna, don't you know what he's doing? Can't you see? He's trying to defuse the economy. He's letting people go and they're hiring the man from the train. They got the guy who ran the railroads. Don't you see what's going on, Luke? Wow! Well, come on, Corky, you let him go. But it's that idea of, you know, playing these characters and doing this, it's been a great combination, like a really good year to just push the envelope. And I think that's always what I want to do, yeah. is to try different things and kind of always change perceptions. And, and change the rhythm. You could Yeah, break up. It's, it is a rhythm. It's basically saying, okay, now we hit it, you know, that, and then, you know, hit a little harder and then back off and then go berserk, like, you know, with the, the stand-up, which is just free form, and then come back and play something so controlled, like in one hour photo, those are all possible. I mean, it, I was trained at Juilliard, you know, I you know, went for three years and left and then, you know, went and did stand-up, but the stand-up was always just kind of a great release and then still having that ability to play, you know, both and having that, that range really helps. For me, it's great. And you mentioned the other part, having great friends and family that yeah. just make life extraordinary and a world <laughs> to still go out and see and learn about, which is yeah. the most important of all. What's the difference in terms of a very fine, finely sculptured performance in a movie like Insomnia, mm -hmm. like One Hour Photo, and standing up like this before a huge audience it's and reaching... Like no. Two different mediums, I think. It's like, it is like, it's almost like sculpture because in, in, a, in a movie like One Hour Photo, it's like, it's like sculpting in that sense. You look for the detail, the minutiae, and all the fine points, and then... And something like that, it's more like a piece of music, like a, a jazz riff where you just go off. Where you just, you, you start off with a bass line and then you go off into these things. And it, sometimes when it really works, you don't know where it's going, but it's amazing. Like the golf thing came from a riff. It started yeah. off. And when you find that, it's like, wow. And it is this immediate kind of endorphin thing of, wait a minute. And it just, it's, you know, it takes you there. You can get in a zone here. Oh, yeah, big time. Where is nothing like it? Yeah, in, in there's way, a zone where it's a bit, it's possessed. It's a bit thing of <laughs> but yes, it, it owns you. You don't own it. Yeah, so it's, it's a bit like oh, no! <laughs> you, you feel like there'll be a, you know someone waiting on the side. Come it? back, child. Put the put it down, Michael. Put the baby down. Take the bag off the child's head and step away from the balcony, Michael. Oh, I don't know. You know there was no mother. Can on you this. explain that to me? I don't know. I mean, there was no mother there because no mother in the world would let me. Honey, I'm just going to take the kid and dangle him over the balcony. Are you okay with that? I know, there's, especially not a black woman go, give me that baby, give me that baby, crazy little man, you little elf, don't be dragging our baby and hanging over there with your bag over his head. Yes. Mm. That, that's true. Like, she, you know, no, no, yeah. that would have slapped him up against mm -mm. that. <laughs> exactly. Mm -mm. Not with my girl child. Not my baby. Not my child. Take, here's a doll, drag the doll, hold the doll upside down and you have that one too. Look at my baby. Let go of that baby. Give me that baby. Oh, you know, yeah. that was like, I went, Ooh, you, okay. you know that there was no woman like that. Yeah, there's that nobody nearby it. going. Yeah. Like, yeah. Even yeah. An, old, an old Irish nanny go, oh, dear, <laughs> step away from the child. Oh, Lord above, have you been possessed? Walk away from the baby there and take off that elephant baby thing there. I'm yeah. not an animal. Why are you covering the child? You want to show the baby or don't? Don't put a bag over its head. You're um, not in. Oh, what are you doing there? You're like putting a tiny burka. What is going on in his head? Don't know. <laughs> I think he's about to jump species. <laughs> I think it's like he's leaving it's slow, slowly but surely. Just... <laughs> it's 
<laughs> That's a great yeah, little scene. thing of like... I just did this piece with Christopher Walken for 60 Minutes, oh. too. Do you love him? Oh, the <laughs> most amazing man. He is. He's just, I mean, <laughs> an eccentric in every sense of the word, and just like a guy you just want to sit and just watch. You do. He, <laughs> I mean, you can sit and watch him do anything. I mean, I mean, he did that great video where he was dancing. Yeah, all right. Because he was an ex-Broadway Started. Hoof, a, yeah, he's a hoofer. You know everything. That's right. Not everything, but the few Almost, things. yes. <laughs> Working on that in human genome. We you, know that we, we have we a know. tail. Exactly. You and I have a tail, and you know what? <laughs> You've been I'm cleaning my oven while we spend the last night's show. Yeah, and they're saying you that we're see. close to mice. And I think, you know, that, you know, a lot of people say we're close to mice. And I don't think that, you know. That, but you know, a lot of people like that. And you look at a lot of people and saying, "Yeah, rats." Yeah, you can say, you know, you look at certain, you look at certain agents and people, and you say, "Yeah, rats." Okay, we're closer to rats. But I, you know, lots, lots of, you know, I thought myself, you know, I, I, I can find cheese. I can go through the maze. You know, that whole thing that uh, that we're close to a certain. It is a weird thing that they say that they match us up. But before it was a fruit fly, now we're up to mice. <laughs> and, and there's not much difference. Oh, yeah, not at all. But, but, but soon they'll have designer jeans. You can say, this is my boy, Gil. Hi, Dad. How are you? How are you doing? You can pick out, yeah, I'd like the boy with the lizard eyes. Honey, do we want gills for the kids? Yeah, Bob, gills. What else? Web feet for diving. Mm -hmm. What else, you know? Christopher Walken. Back to Christopher oh, yeah, Walken for a second. Speaking of human engineering. Yeah, that's exactly right. There's a great moment where... Woody comes in, I've forgotten which movie, and Woody's talking to him. You remember? And oh, yeah, and he says, said, like, yeah, I have this thing where I feel like I'm going to drive off the road. And I'm going to kill myself, and the car's in flames, and the next shot is him just... <laughs> it's like... And there's another scene where Woody says to him, I, I, I'm sorry, I've got to go. I've got to go. I'm going back to planet Earth. <laughs> well, there's people like him, and you talk to Chris. It's like, I don't know, you know, it's... He just is... He says things, you just go, wow. <laughs> <laughs> there are people. There, that, that's why, you know, coming to New York and walking around, you just see amazing people. Mm -hmm. You see so much, so many things here. And, you know, like you see Chris and you see, and, but everywhere, there's so much to pick up on. What's always amazed me about you is many things, but it is the, it, it is the spectrum of your interest. I mean, you, science is an interest of yours. Oh, it's kind of fascinated by it. It's kind of my brother... Started off as an optical physicist and then teaches science in <laughs> Memphis. Optical physicist. Yeah, yeah. yeah basically, you yeah. know, what's that? <laughs> yeah. It's but like, anyway. you know, but yeah, I'm always kind of fascinated by it and, you know, the potential for it, of, you know, especially when they're talking about the human genome. Yeah. And, what the things of, you know, working on, you know, send in the clones. Yeah. <laughs> there was yes, a, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> I met a Nobel Prize physicist. So what did you do? I developed a specific gene therapy for a very specific form of cancer and it's, it really will solve our problems for the next 20 years. And he said, what are you doing? I said, I'm just having lunch. <laughs> but you meet them, and they're very, very kind of that's quiet true, people who've solved you know, the problem. We're figuring like, out how the brain thinks. Yeah, we are basically you know, worked out, you know, we'll be back. total neurosis. Yeah. You know, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm fine. <laughs> and what You're, do you do? Yeah, well, I, 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 I talk on television. I make noises. <laughs> I talk on television. Yeah, I make noises. Yeah, I make noises. Yeah, yeah like Peter Lloyd says, I made faces. <laughs> I like to make faces. <laughs> Why won't they let me into there? I never did anything wrong. <laughs> and it's never hurting any of us. Where was that from? It was, uh, oh, actually, he had a couple, but it was an M, which was, you know, but that was in German. But he had the, he did a monologue once on a television show where he talked about, my head is like a fishbowl, <laughs> and everyone sees inside of it. I can't imagine Ed Sullivan going, oh, it's Peter Lorre, right now, doing a, a wonderful monologue from Psycho, doing a incredible sociopath. 